The Panama Canal is a big revenue provider for the country of Panama. We generate $2 billion a year. So it can provide for education, for health, for school, for all the things that governments need to provide. If trade moves away from the Panama Canal, it would be a big blow to our country. We needed to do something dramatic. We needed to supersize the canal. When we were studying this project, we analyzed, how about if we just expand the existing canal? But that's a revenue provider. So that's why we decided we need to go with the third set of locks. With the amount of excavation that we're doing here, is the size of the Central Park in New York. Right now, we have about 2,500 people working on the site. At full capacity, you want to see 4,500 people working in this place. Right now, we're using about 200,000 tons of reinforcing steel. With that amount of steel, we can build about 18 times the Eiffel Tower in France. There's twice as much concrete being placed in the Atlantic and Pacific locks as in the Hoover Dam. It's a tremendous volume. We've used state of the practice techniques that are being built and developed specifically for this project, but have general applications throughout the industry. We are literally rewriting the book on how to design large lock projects. Each lock chamber is long enough to take the entire Empire State Building inside of it. You know, this is just one example of how we've made something bigger than it's ever been done before. We've done this on the lock walls, the gates. This whole project's been a series of biggest and best, and it's such a standard for going forward on lots of different other projects. The Panama Canal expansion will be a game changer for global commerce. Uh, some people will try to take as much advantage as they can. Some people will feel threatened by it but everyone will have to rethink their entire business model once this project goes into operation.